Okay, hello dear friends. So here I have uh, <coughs> milk and uh, boiled and then cooling down. Now I put in the first generation yogurt and this is uh, with a rubber band, you know it's the first generation yogurt. And I will use this as a starter to make um, to, to, to make yogurt. So <clears throat> this video I will not show you the other process you have seen so many numerous times n times of how to make yogurt. This one is only about putting hot water in the in the uh, <clears throat> igloo to keep this yogurt uh, hot, hot okay to keep the yogurt the good temperature for it to develop so, so I put you can choose to make plain yogurt whole milk yogurt low fat yogurt non-fat yogurt uh, sweet yogurt, non-sweet, plain yogurt, whichever choice, because that does not change very much. What I am doing is um, about changing the temperature, uh, no, not changing the temperature. I will blah 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 about how uh, hot I put this yogurt. How... Um, what temperature I will use for this yogurt? I need to wash a little bit. This chestnut paste in <clears throat> into the glass bottle. Of it does not need to have a lot because now I will heat up the water. boiling water. It is better not to use too hot water. So it's almost boiling the water. I will explain you why I use almost boiling water. So the first thing you put these little jars into the incubator, <coughs> the homemade incubator. Water is hot enough with 
we, 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 we stop the fire, we stop the heating. So you see, if you put water in it, it's actually not very much of water. And even if you have hot boiling water, this heat will go through this ceramic pot. Will will need to go through this ceramic pot, reach into the yogurt. So when it reach into the yogurt, it's already it will take some time. And also, you see, majority of the space is. Um, is occupied by this little jar. It's actually only a few, only quite small amount of boiling water. So this little jar will consume the, the boiling water and lower down the temperature. So when it reach into Rear the milk when the milk fills the hot water is already actually not so hot but if you have a big amount let's say this one if you have this same container and only have one or two little jars there is just a lot of hot water and uh, and the little jar will not consume too much of the heat so the heat will not, the temperature will not lower down and it will not be good for making yogurt, right? Because when the temperature of the milk reaches to 80 degree, the bacteria will be killed. You do not want, to, want it to reach that high. You can put boiling water as long as it is not instantly went through the container and the heat went to the, um, the, 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 the milk. For example, if I use, sometimes I use this metal container to make yogurt. In that case, I do not put it close to the, 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 the water. I put it on the upper part it's only the temperature the the steam which is much less direct heat to the milk do i make sense so make sure if you do not have a lot of uh, uh, containers do not put too hot water if you have very hot water at least you make sure those heat will be consumed through the container, the, the, the wall of the container. And um, <clears throat> the temperature will be lowered until it is suitable for making the yogurt. Do I make sense? Anyway you enjoy your yogurt making happy every day i love you i really do 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 do